welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new I am so excited because today I am starting a brand new let's play here on my channel this is gonna be the LP with the love struck pack and I am so so excited I am really excited because love struck is a very romance oriented expansion pack and that really suits my playstyle a lot because I love my sims to have romance and get in relationships so it's gonna be really really fun I am super excited so this LP is gonna be called unluckily love struck because of the fact that these two sims here my sims that I'm gonna be playing this LP with actually are very love struck over each other but they actually are opposites so um, over here I have Inez and Miguel, and Miguel is a very, um, let's just say he's a love bug, and he also has some erratic emotions and some family drama going on that, you know, Inez doesn't really know a whole lot about. She knows some stuff about it, like, she knows his dad is a businessman and he owns the motels around that people go to, to woohoo. Like, she knows all those things about it, but she doesn't know some of the hard family drama that he had growing up. So, yeah, but Miguel, like, thinks he, like, keeps those kind of things from Inez for a reason. Because he loves her and he cares about her and he doesn't want to hurt her. So, yeah, even though he has a, you know, even though he's a little rough around the edges, he still cares about her a lot and wants her to be happy and he also has some other struggles that I will mention here in a little bit that he has going on that, you know, he kind of keeps as well from Inez at the moment. And as for Inez, she is romantically reserved and she just is such a sweet woman. Um, she actually loves to dance secretly. She doesn't actually talk about it a lot because she is kind of shy about it. She doesn't really... Like, you know, she's not really the type to, like, perform in front of people, so she doesn't, like, talk about how she loves to dance much, but we, you can definitely tell whenever she's going to a club or something that she loves to dance. And she also, you know, has a mom and a twin brother who actually live in town. This is where she actually grew up, and Miguel actually grew up here as well. I'm gonna do a lot of explaining in this part, so... I'm going to try to get to some gameplay soon, but I just wanted to go over the characters and everything with y'all because this is a new LP. So like I was saying, Inez and Miguel are over here and they actually live in this house here. They live in the new world of Ciudad and Amarada. And this is actually a house that was passed down from generation to generation to Inez. So Inez and Miguel actually met when Inez was coming back from college. She was on a little Christmas break or something here with her family. And, you know, she wanted to spend time with her family, but she also wanted to spend time with her friend. So her and her friend went out to a nightclub and they actually ended up meeting Miguel there. He was bartending and sadly, lately Miguel actually lost his job. So he got in trouble at his job for drinking. And you know, as a mixologist, you're supposed to give the drinks and like make them. You're not supposed to drink them yourself. So he got in trouble for that. But anyway, um, so she met him there at the bar and they just instantly, you know, fell in love with each other. Like, they literally were, like, head over heels for each other. But as the years went on, it's kind of been, you know, apparent that Inez wants something a little bit more, um, you know, a little bit more real than Miguel. Miguel is a bit more, like, relaxed about romance, whereas Inez would really like to settle down, get married, and have a family. And Miguel's just kind of like, you know, whatever happens, happens kind of thing. Like, if we work out, that's fine. If we don't, we don't. So that's kind of where they're at with their relationship. They have kind of a bit of drama going on with each other at the moment. So um, here are their traits, like I was mentioning earlier. So Inez's traits are dance machine, loyal, alluring, and romantically reserved. So this one, romantically reserved, is a new trait that comes with The Sims 4 Lovestruck. 
The, this says, these Sims often tread carefully in the realm of love, preferring to take their time and build solid emotional connections before jumping headfirst into romance. So she definitely wanted to, you know, take things slow with Miguel in the beginning, but Miguel definitely went past some of her boundaries and, you know, was like, hey, let's get into this, you know? He was really, like, more of a love bug, so to speak. So, and here are the new things that come with Lovestruck as well. Here are some of her turn-ons and turns-off. So, I'll get into that a little bit later. But also down here, this is her relationship preferences. So, she is straight. So, she likes to woohoo with men. And she likes to have romance with men. And she does get jealous from physical... Um, intimacy and physical romance and woohoo. So she doesn't like um, polyamory at all, which goes into something that I'll talk about with Miguel here in a minute. So yeah, that's all about her and she has no fame whatsoever. Um, but Miguel over here is actually feeling very flirty at the moment and there is a reason for that. He is around Inez and he is super happy to be here with her and for them to be, you know, be very close and in love. But there is something that he's actually hiding from her just to kind of keep things good between them. He doesn't want to make her upset like I mentioned earlier. So, yeah, he actually has something going on and I will mention that here in a bit but his traits are materialistic erratic alluring and love bug and love bug is a new trait with the sims 4 love struck so this says sims with this trait are constantly swept up in the whirlwind of romance they fall in love easily often wearing their hearts on their sleeves so yeah he's a love bug so he loves to you know, have romance, and he is way more out there with romance than Inez, you know, so he wanted to go really fast with the relationship, and Inez didn't, and that's like one of the things that they kind of struggled with, is that they're pretty opposite with each other, but over here, as you can see, they actually have amazing compatibility, so, um, yeah, they are very compatible as far as their social compatibility, they really get along well with their friendship and everything, but as far as, like, what they want in life and, you know, their personality, they're kind of opposites. So, um, yeah, so everything is fine at the moment with their romantic satisfaction, and he's very attracted to her, but as for her, so this is a little bit of the drama going on at the moment, um, she is actually unattracted to him. So this says, Sims are less attracted to Sims with attributes that match their turn-offs. Set turn-ons and turn-offs and create a Sim. So yeah, so she is not attracted to some of the things that he has been doing lately. Like, she's not attracted to the fact that he got in trouble and he got fired from his job. And she's not happy that he hasn't tried to get a new job to try to help pay for the bills and everything else. She's also kind of annoyed with him that at this state in their relationship, he hasn't asked her to get married. Like, he hasn't got down on one knee. So she is kind of annoyed at him for that. And she's wondering why. And so I will go ahead and tell you all a little bit more about Miguel and why he hasn't done that. So Miguel actually is in a another romantic relationship with this woman over here. This is Andrea Hernandez, and he doesn't even know her traits, but her traits are vegetarian, self-absorbed, and also love bug. And they have neutral compatibility right now. Um, that's because they just kind of started. They're not really that far in their relationship. So she's like a side partner because Inez is like his girlfriend. So, but he is feeling very satisfied in their relationship. So he's very happy with their little poly thing they got going on here. And they have amazing compatibility. So a little bit about Andrea. She actually is a woohoo tube star, if you know the reference. Um, so yeah, she actually does like videos and stuff and he actually met her on the Cupid's Corner dating app because he was looking for a woman that he could just have something with on the side because he, it's not that he's like not happy with Inez because he definitely is, but 
He just is feeling like he needs more. Like, he wants someone else as well. But he doesn't know how to tell Inez that. So, yeah. It's a lot of stuff going on. And also, I'll go ahead and tell you about their family. So, this is Philippe. This is um, Philippe Santiago. This is Miguel's dad. So, he's materialistic, proper, and hot-headed. And he's also a businessman. He owns the... Woohoo motels around town and they have a difficult relationship because Philippe actually wants Miguel to get serious about the family business and wants him to take over the hotel business once everything you know once he's got like married and he's gotten like a family and stuff he wants him to you know take initiative but Miguel doesn't want that Miguel wants to just relax and enjoy his life so they have a difficult relationship. And then as far as Inez and her family, Inez has a mom named Carlina Fernanda. And her traits are family-oriented, creative, loner, and she's a writer. So she's a kind of a well-known writer, but not like super well-known. She's not famous or anything. And they have a close bond. They have a close-knit relationship. So, yeah, her and her mom are super, super close. And then she has a twin brother named Mateo Fernanda. He actually lives in Del Sol Valley and is trying to become a stylist, a famous stylist. He's actually a little bit famous already. And he is actually bisexual and he had a fiancé, but he actually ended up, like... You know, they ended their relationship on, like, okay terms, but they're not talking now. So, it's kind of some drama going on. I'm still developing that storyline because I want to, like, add more to it. But, yeah, they ended up, like, right when um, Mateo and Inez's mom, Carlina, was going to, like, plan their wedding and help them. They ended things. So, yeah. So, he's pretty burnt up about that, but... You know, his traits are ambitious, snob, and vegetarian, so it could have been the snob part of him that kind of ruined their relationship. But actually, Inez and him have a bad compatibility, and it's because he's a snob. So, um, she actually doesn't like that he's a snob and is kind of, you know, stuck up since he's become famous. She really doesn't like that about him. So yeah, it's a lot of drama. There's a lot of story to this LP, and that's why it's like taken me kind of a little bit of time to like think about it and develop it and get everything set up, but I'm super excited to get started. So let's finally go ahead and get into some gameplay. Okay, so I'm going to have them come over here in their house. So I did meant mean to mention this is their house. This is the house that Inez actually got from her great-great-grandma, and her mom was like, after her and uh, Miguel actually moved here together, like, after she got done with college, her mom was like, you need a place to stay, your great-grandmother left you this house, so, yeah, so she pretty much, like, gave her this house to live in, her and Miguel, so, yeah, and they kind of spruced it up a little bit to make it look nicer and more modern, so, they just have a few things over here. Some of their things they brought from their houses, their old houses and whatever. Um, so, I think I'm just going to check on her really quick. Let's see what does she need. Um, she's fine right now. She could make some food, but I kind of want them to just kind of hang out a little bit. I do need them to come over here and make sure the dog is okay. Speaking of which, this is Lola. This is Miguel's dog that he actually adopted a couple years ago. And she is so cute. She's actually an adult dog. So he's going to come over here and make sure she's okay. Let's come over here and pet her and also get to know her a little bit and just offer friendship. I mean, they should have already had a pretty high bar by now, but... You know, I just got everything set up in the game. I only got as much as I could set up, like, story-wise. So, this says, Miguel, he, him. He's romantically attracted to women, interested in woohoo with women. He's not interested in elders. He's just interested in young adults and adults. And it says he's erratic and materialistic. Um, I think we're not going to include the erratic trait. I think people would think that's kind of weird. So we're going to put love bug instead and materialistic because 
Um, I mean, he's not really ashamed about being materialistic. I think he just kind of thinks he likes to go on Amazon a lot, and that's not a big deal. But it kind of is a big deal to Inez. Um, let's go ahead and change this. Oh my gosh, look at him giving the peace sign. He knows I love this symbol. Alright, um, you know, this is kind of cute. I mean, maybe we could do a different one. Oh, this is cute. You know what? I like that one. So we got some matches over here. This says Valerie, she, her, adult, not shared, animal enthusiast. This is a turn on for Miguel. Genius, this is a, a turn off. Oh gosh. Um, and then we have Jacqueline, she, her, adult, lazy, and hates children. Um, oh no, this is actually a turn on for Miguel. He hates children. Oh gosh, that's not going to be good for Inez. Um, and then May, we have May, gloomy and neat. So we're going to look at this a little bit more in the future, but I just wanted to go ahead and share that because that is a new thing that came with Lovestruck. But I am going to have him come over here and um, come over here and flirt with her a little bit and give her a kiss. He actually just came back from visiting Andrea, so he's mm -hmm. feeling a little bit flirty. So he's over here wanting to like make sure that she's doing okay. He's been gone for a little bit, and she's like, um, I was going to make some food for us for dinner. And he's like, okay, sounds good, babe. And she's like, is everything okay? Like, did visiting your dad go okay? And he's like, yeah, my mom just passed away recently, and I just wanted to make sure that my dad's okay, even though I'm not that close with him. She's like, I get that. Oh, she acquired the romance skill. Inez's new skill in romance will allow her to successfully flirt more frequently and romance other sims faster. Inez can now research romance tips on the computer and perform romantic introductions. Oh my gosh, and this says romantic satisfaction changed. Inez's romantic satisfaction with Miguel has changed based on her romance style turn-ons turns off. Romance style turns on and turns off play a critical role in affecting a sim's individual romantic satisfaction with their partner when socializing. Oh my gosh, so it seems like they have pretty good um, romantic compatibility at the moment. So from what I've seen about Lovestruck, that can change pretty quickly. So um, I am going to have them actually make out. Oh my gosh, Miguel has reached level 3 of the romance skill already. It's probably all the romantic things I've had him do off screen. Um, so he reached level 3 of the romance skill. Miguel can now whisper about desires with other sims. Ooh, well that's interesting. I love that we have a romance skill in the game now. I feel like that was kind of necessary. I mean, we did have mods, but not everybody uses mods, so I love that. Um, let's go ahead and... Um, Ask for attraction level, and we're going to also whisper about desires as well. Oh my gosh, what'd she say? Oh gosh, that was an awkward conversation. Um, well, if you must know, I'm not attracted to you. I actually find you unattractive. Girl! Oh my god, not her saying she's unattracted to him. Oh my gosh, that's some drama right there. Like, him literally finding out that his girlfriend is not attracted to him? That is crazy. Like, girl, why would you just straight up admit that? Like, I feel like she's a little bit blunt, so... Um, <laughs> he was not happy to hear that. He's like, well, he's like, why are you not attracted to me? Like, what, what did I do? She's like, it's just, you know, some of the things you've done recently. I'm just not exactly happy with them, but... Um, I'm sure we'll find a way to get through it somehow. Um, so he wants to kiss her and he also wants to play Woohoo, which is a new thing. It's a new game with Lovestruck. Miguel is in the mood for a sultry game of Woohoo. Oh my gosh. And she's actually pretty flirty right now, even though she said she wasn't attracted to him. So this is kind of crazy. Um, who's calling? Oh my gosh, his dad's calling. You and Inez are just so cute together. Just thought I'd let you know. Oh my gosh, his dad is literally not, like, nudging him, saying, Y'all are so cute together. Like, why don't y'all just stay together? Why don't you go ahead and, like, propose to her? 
I know that she wants to be proposed to. So Miguel is like, dad, like chill out. Like, you know, Miguel doesn't want to get married. Like not right now. And he doesn't even know if he ever really does or not. He's not sure. I mean, he does love Inez and he, you know, he does really like care about her too, but he's not sure he's ready for that just yet. But his dad, where his dad is a businessman and really wants like a successful lineage, he is like, you know, maybe just go ahead and like pop the question. But <laughs> Miguel is not about that right now. So, uh, Miguel's getting a little bit hungry, so I might actually just have him come and serve some... Uh, do we have any new foods with this pack? I think we do, actually. Um, let's see. I don't know if they're going to be available, because he doesn't have any cooking skill at the moment. So, I might just have him make something really simple, like grilled cheese. So, he's going to go make some grilled cheese. He's like, oh, she said I'm unattractive, so I need to go make her some food to make her feel better. Okay, well, we'll see how that goes for you, boy. Um, here, girl, go use the bathroom and take you a shower. Just, you know, maybe take you a cold shower. Why not? Go ahead and get in the mood. This is the Love Struck LP, after all. Oh, look, Lola's over here sleeping in her bed. She's so cute. Um, so I think, I think I'm gonna actually have them just like eat some dinner and hang out a little bit. I do want them to actually go on a date tomorrow. Um, I think it'd be really nice for them to spend some time together since recently things have been a little bit difficult between them because Miguel has lost his job and his mom passed away and he's just not been in the best mood and he's kind of taken it out on her a little bit. And been lazy as well. So she's been like unattracted to him for that reason. So I think we need to like try to help that a little bit. Oh my gosh, who's calling? Hey, I heard you and Inez started dating. Congrats on landing a new partner. Um, <laughs> his dad is literally over here like, You all are so cute. You know, I'm so happy y'all are dating. Like... Oh my gosh, his dad is literally rooting for him and Inez. Like, oh my gosh. Literally, like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Girl, can you come over here and maybe, like, express your devotion to him and, like, ask him if he feels the same way to you? Like, can you, um, let's see. Let's ask for attraction level from him and ask and see how he feels about her at the moment. Like, she's like, I'm sorry, Miguel, you know, we just have some things we need to work on. He's like, yeah, I know, I know we do. We'll figure it out. Um, so what's this say? The truth is, I find you very attractive. Oh, he actually really, really likes her a lot. Like, he's super attracted to her. So this says, somebody likes me from being found attractive. The world looks a little bit brighter today since Inez found out that someone finds her attractive. Oh my gosh, wow. And super satisfied from being very satisfied in a romantic relationship. Inez is basking in the joy of a fulfilling relationship while very satisfied the romantic relationship with her partner will fade away more slowly. So it seems like since they are feeling satisfied with each other at the moment, things won't go south, so to speak. But Inez actually does have some things about Miguel that she doesn't like. But all in all, they are doing pretty well right now. So that's good. Um, discuss dating standards. We do need to like talk to him about her boundaries, though, to make sure everything's okay. See what he says. Oh my gosh, he didn't like her talking about her boundaries? Wait, oh my gosh, Inez and Miguel are both very satisfied in their relationship. Oh, that's good. Despite Inez's attempt to explain her approach to love, it seems Miguel has not fully grasped her perspective. Both Sims are left feeling uncertain about their romantic path. Oh no. So now they're like kind of confused about like where each other stands with the relationship. Well, maybe y'all just need to go to bed for the night. She needs to come over here and get her a, some food. I think they're just starting to open up to each other. And, you know, maybe they've not been communicating very well the past few years. And now they're really actually starting to since they've lived together for a little bit now. They're actually starting to do that. Oh my gosh! 
Carlina, Carlina's leaving. Oh my gosh, she got mother's intuition over here. She's like, I have to protect my baby from this man. <laughs> she has like a like bad thoughts about Miguel right now. So Miguel and Inez actually had such a deep conversation today about their wants and everything with their relationship. So they're just heading off to bed. So I'm going to have them sleep for a while and then I'll resume when they wake up. Okay, so they're awake. I'm actually going to have her come and take a shower. I do want her to get into her new career. Um, she actually had been a therapist for quite a while. She, she actually went to college to be a therapist. So she got her communications degree. And um, she ultimately decided recently that she wants to change her career path. She actually wants to become a romance consultant. So I'm going to actually get her into that career here soon. But I'm first going to have her come over here and take care of these dishes. Because apparently um, Miguel left these dirty dishes out last night. So Miguel's getting him some grilled cheese. <laughs> Inez was over here dancing. That's so cute. I'm going to have her come over here and try to um, pet Try to pet Lola a little bit and give her some affection because she definitely needs it. Um, and then um, I think I want them to go out on a date. Um, what's he feeling like? Oh, Biga from Erratic Trait. Whipna Choba Dog. Oh no, he's feeling a little bit of a lot of emotions at the moment. Oh, her mom's calling. Inez, I need to challenge myself. A new job might be the solution. What do you think? Um, I don't think that, that you should do it, honestly. I think she's fine in her career. You're probably right. I should stay put for now. Yeah, I think her mom just has a lot of mixed feelings about her career sometimes because it can be difficult being a writer. Um... Miguel, why don't you go ahead and, like, clean this up? I know Inez would really appreciate it if you clean your own dishes. Um, Inez, how are you doing, girl? She needs some food, too. Um, I'm gonna have her come get some grilled cheese. I'm not sure where I want them to go out on their date. Um, I think they could probably maybe go to the park. It is cloudy at the moment, but it's supposed to rain today. So, I think we're gonna have to wait on that. Um, maybe they could just go to the club or something. I think that'd be fun. I mean, you know, they did meet at a bar or a club, so I think that'd be really nice for them to go do that, but he needs to come over here and use the bathroom and take him a shower. Um, let's go ahead and have him take him a steamy shower. He's actually feeling really sad right now because a loss in the family from losing a parent it's hard to see those closest to us pass away. Miguel can find some solace by mourning at a tombstone or urn. So he's really sad that his mom passed away. He did visit his dad recently about it. And it's been really difficult for him. Because he was a lot closer with his mom than his dad. So yeah. And he doesn't really want to burden Inez with a lot of that. With a lot of the gloominess. But he is feeling really sad about it. Oh my gosh. Andrea is calling. Hey, Miguel, it's me, Andrea. Do you want to go out on a date? Oh my, go oh my gosh. Not his side partner asking to go out on a date. We were planning on going on a date with Inez today. Oh no. This could be some drama, though. Like, maybe he had plans with Inez to go out to the club, but since Andrea is, like, calling him up and actually asking him... Maybe he might ditch Inez for just a little bit. Like, maybe he reschedules their date to be a little later. Okay, well, you know what? I think we're going to go do it. You know what? Why not? Let's go and do it. So, whenever they were going to go on their date, it actually was just a random place. So, I'm actually setting them up to actually go on a regular date. So, he's actually deciding to go on a date with Andrea instead of Inez right now, which I know Inez is going to be really hurt about. She's going to wonder where he ran off to because she doesn't actually know about his situation with Andrea. So, they're set up to go on their date, and this says that the activities are going to be woohoo, physical intimacy, socialize, be romantic, drinks, and food. And they're actually going to go to the nightclub in Ciudad Anamorada 
called Marador del Amor. So that's where they're going to go for their date. Okay, so they're here on their date. And here's Andrea, since y'all didn't get to see her up close yet. She is so cute. She is rocking the black vibes, and I absolutely love her. She definitely is giving Taylor Swift reputation vibes, and I love that so much. Um, so we're here at the nightclub in Ciudad Anamorada, and I'm going to have them actually come over here and get some drinks. We're going to come and order drinks for the date. Um, what are we going to get? I wonder if we have any new drinks with this. Oh, we have spicy hot chocolate. This is a new drink with Love Struck. We could get that for sure. That could be a cheap drink that we could get. Because I feel like all these other drinks are just a little bit too expensive. And I know that Inez is like really, you know, trying to be good about money. So I know that Miguel is going to try to like be nice and try to like listen to her about that. So we're just going to get some spicy hot chocolate. I hope that Andrea likes spicy hot chocolate. If she doesn't, then this date's probably going to fail. Is she going to come over here and get drinks with us? She's just standing outside. I guess maybe paparazzi's going to show up because she is famous. So, oh my gosh, look who it is. Oh my gosh, it's Don Lothario. Don, uh, listen, you better not be stealing his girl, okay? You better not be coming over here flirting. I see you over there. You literally flirted with the Grim Reaper. Um, let's go ahead and talk to her a little bit. Let's just um, ask her how she feels about the hot chocolate. Um, ask her how the date's going. See how she's feeling so far. And we're also going to... Um, well, he can't do much right now because he's so sad about his mom dying. Oh gosh, this is not going so well so far. Um, I might have to literally remove that because he was having such a, such a difficult time. I really want to get a picture of them right now because this is so cute. Like, I love that they are having some, um, spicy hot chocolate. This is really cute. Um, so she's acting like she's liking the hot chocolate. That's good. She probably does like spicy hot chocolate. Maybe, um, her family or something made it for her growing up. Um, let's see, what else do we want to do? Um, let's, um, ask him about attraction level and see how she feels about him. Just to make sure that we're on the same page about this situation. Like, I hope she knows that she's a side partner. Um, let's also express fondness and see, um, see what she's feeling like. Attraction, you're alright, I guess. I don't think anything is particularly wrong with you, at least. Oh my gosh, she is literally so stuck up. Oh my gosh, she literally just told him that he's an alright guy. Like, that's not what you want to hear when you're on a date with a woman. Oh my gosh. She feels so awkward. <gasps> oh my god. Andrea has left the date after receiving too many mean or mischievous interactions. <gasps> Girl, she's literally leaving. She is leaving. Oh my gosh, Miguel, you literally said something to make her mad. What did you say? Oh my gosh, horrible date from horrible date. That was a rough date, to put it lightly. Maybe Miguel would feel better talking to someone about it. Well, you can't tell Inez because she's going to be upset with you that you didn't tell her that you're Polly. Oh my gosh, this is not good. Okay, well, she's just leaving. Oh no, this is bad. Well, are they not together anymore? Like, is she not going to be his side partner? Like, what's happening? <laughs> um, I think he needs another drink, honestly, after that. Um, let's just go ahead and get him, um, a juice on the rocks. You know what? He needs him a drink because the fact that she just ended the date like that, like, so quickly, this shows what a terrible person she is. Like, their romance bar went all the way down, too. Oh my gosh, this says awkward after a bad date. That date was excruciatingly bad. Not Miguel's best moment. Cue cringeworthy. Memories whenever uh, Miguel sees Andrea. Oh gosh, that's awful. Um, and this says terrible date. Wow, what a trash date. Andrea will not be forgetting Miguel's misbehavior anytime soon. And is definitely not interested in seeing him again for a while. 
Oh no, that's really bad. Oh gosh, Miguel, whatever you said, do not say it ever again. So yeah, she's super, super upset with him right now. She had a terrible date. I mean, she didn't even give the date a chance. So, I mean, was that really fair to him? I don't think so. So he's just feeling really awkward after all of that and feeling really tense after that horrible date. But he's going to feel even worse here in a minute because Inez is here. Inez sees him sitting over here at the bar and she's like, he rescheduled our date. What is he doing over here? By himself at the bar like is he starting to drink is he like starting to have some alcohol problems like all these things are going through her head because her mom has warned her about Miguel several times in their relationship the past few years so she's worried about him she's worried she doesn't know what's happening with him she knows that his mom passed away like she found out from um, from his dad and she knows that he's been having some issues as well because he actually got fired. So he's really not been very well after all of that either. He's been having a lot of emotional issues. So she's really, really concerned about him over here. And she's really upset at him as well because she is upset that he literally bailed on her on their date. They were supposed to come here together and she literally got told by him that he wasn't going to be able to meet her here. But here he is, drinking at the bar all by himself, spending money that she actually earned. So, yeah, she's not happy with him right now. So, um, I'm actually going to have her come over here and talk to him. She's going to be like, what is going on? Like, why are you over here drinking at the bar? Like, why don't you argue about career? Like, because he doesn't even have a job and he's over here... Like, just drinking and spending all of y'all's money. Like, you're just not happy with him right now. You're like, Miguel, Miguel, what are you doing here? Like, I thought you weren't going to be able to go on our date. Like, why are you over here by yourself at the bar? Like, what's going on? Tell me. Talk to me about everything. And he's literally, like, yawning at her, like, not even listening. Like, boy, why are you being so mean? He's like, listen. He's like... Inez, I'm sorry. I just needed some time to myself. She's like, well, you should have told me. And he's like, I'm sorry, okay? Just leave me alone. Oh, my gosh. She's like, you know what, Miguel? I can't take this right now. She's like, this was supposed to be our special night together. And he's like, okay. He's like, fine. I'll meet you outside in a minute. And she's like, okay. Well, it's going to be like that then. Okay. Well, you know what? Y'all just need to, like chill out okay girl you know what just come out here he's obviously having a breakdown right now he's obviously really mad he's obviously just having a hard time so just leave him to be by himself right now oh my gosh she is really upset how frustrating being inarticulate and factually incorrect has never been more infuriating oh my gosh she is literally out here standing in the rain by herself she is trying to look on the hopeful side of everything but right now she's very frustrated that miguel is over here like just being mean to her when she was trying to communicate so and he's also got his eyes over here on this girl here zoe patel boy you know what oh my gosh okay well looks like miguel is gonna have to figure out his issues and everything for him and Inez to work out so honestly this has been such a fun part a lot of crazy stuff has happened I'm really enjoying the Sims 4 love struck so far I hope you all are enjoying it as well and I hope you all enjoyed the episode if you did please remember to leave a like comment and subscribe for more and I hope you all are having a peaceful day and I will speak to you all next time bye everyone mm -hmm.